Hi guys, welcome back to my channel. Today I am going to show you the 10 things that you can do in Jeonju in South Korea. In the past, Jeonju was a cultural and spiritual capital of the Joseon Kingdom. The reason was because the royal family came from this city. Today I'm going to show you specifically what you can do in the Hanok village of Jeonju and um, I think one or two places which are a bit outside of this village. So let's go. Did you know that the Jeonju Hanok village developed during the Japanese occupation only around 100 years ago? During that time Japanese were settling down in the city center, tearing down the old Korean houses and modernizing the city while the Korean citizens had to move outside of the city wall. Yep, there was a city wall. As a resistance, Koreans started to build hanoks, the traditional Korean houses behind the city wall. And that was basically the beginning. After the occupation, the village was mainly forgotten, but in the 1970s, the president visited the village and liked it so much that he designated it as a preservation district. But only in the 2000s, Jeonju Hanok village really experienced huge changes and was supported by the government. Now it counts over 800 Hanoks and is one of the main touristic targets in South Korea. So what can you actually do in the Jeonju Hanok village? First of all, I would say just stroll through the streets. You can find so many nice restaurants, cafes, shops, fortune tellers and whatsoever a lot of souvenirs or something that you can use as a present when you go back to your country. You can really discover a lot of stuff here. Of course, you shouldn't miss out on some famous foods in Jeonju. One of it is the sweet choco pie. In Jeonju, there are different variations of it and they are extremely delicious. Of course, you can find many other snacks and drinks and street food here. But the most famous in the whole country is of course the Jeonju Bibimbap. This is the birthplace of this dish. Another dish that I discovered in Jeonju was the Kongnamul Gukbap, which is bean sprout rice soup. And of course you shouldn't miss out on the bingsu with some traditional toppings like red bean and almond powder. Another thing to do in Jeonju is of course to try on one of the beautiful hanboks here or maybe some other fashion. Choose whatever you like, you can also choose some costumes from the Mr. Sunshine K-drama if you like it more, or just the typical hanbok. There are really a lot of colors and beautiful hanboks at the rental shop, so you can just choose whatever you like the most, also for the guys. Usually they are fitting the girls' hanboks too, so you can do a couple things if you are in Jeonju with your partner. There is of course also the royal hanbok for the king. In these shops they are also doing your hair. You can choose from one of the several hairdos and then you are done and can join all the other people who are visiting the Gyeonggijeon shrine which is another amazing place to visit at the Hanok village. This shrine is dedicated to one of the kings and you can see here many traditional paintings as well as visit and try out some old stuff like this thing. Here you can also see how the old Korean heating ondol worked. Basically the houses were built a bit higher and the fire in the kitchen was done underneath and went through the whole house heating it from the bottom. If you want to learn more things, you can visit one of many many museums here. For example, this history museum about the Hanok village. Here you can see how it developed and what happened through the last decades. But of course there are other museums, for example also an alcohol museum where you can see how some alcohols are made in Korea or how they were made in the past, which ingredients were or still are relevant to make alcohols in Korea, how they were produced and also how they were served. But of course also the whole process in detail. Another nice museum was the Fan Museum. 
Here you can see many beautiful fans from the past, for example also from 100 years ago. But also discover other fans from other countries like Spain or Russia or China. Here you can also see the tools which are needed to make a fan and some accessories which were attached to them. Another great experience that you can enjoy in Jeonju is a tea house. There are several ones which you can visit and enjoy a nice traditional Korean tea. Here they are even teaching you how to make the tea correctly. After trying out several cups, I guess you can call yourself a master and do it completely by yourself. A rather spontaneous experience that I had in Jeonju was taking part in a workshop to make some alcohol called moju. This place was right in front of the shrine and moju is a traditional alcohol drink which is made out of makkoli. Basically, you just boil makkoli with different traditional and healthy ingredients. Moju means mother's drink and the legend behind it is that a son of a mother wanted to drink some alcoholic drink but the mother didn't like it and just cooked it with some healthy ingredients to make it more healthy. Moju also doesn't have that much alcohol, it's just between 1 and 2%. If you're coming to Jeonju in spring, I would recommend you to go to the Wansan Park, especially if the white cherry blossoms are already gone, because then you can see here the pink cherry blossoms, which look very beautiful because the whole hill is covered in them. If you want to relax a bit and have your peace, I would suggest to go to the Namcheonggyo Bridge and stay a bit at the Cheonyeollu Pavilion. Here you can even find some books in Korean and enjoy the wonderful view to the mountains. The Hanok village is by the way just on the other side of the river. But be prepared to take off your shoes because this pavilion can only be entered barefoot. You can also visit this bridge by night because then it's lighting up very beautifully. And the last thing I would like to recommend you is either to be lucky enough or check up beforehand if there are any concerts or events taking place to enjoy some traditional music and performances. I hope you enjoyed this short trip to Jeonju and my recommendations. Don't forget to check out all the small side streets and enjoy the atmosphere of the city. And of course, don't forget to buy some very nice and beautiful souvenirs. Of course, I would appreciate it if you would leave a like and subscribe to my channel. Otherwise, see you in my next video. Bye!